สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again Wednesday the second of June 2021 and first of all thank you to Dr. a p i s a m a i just now for the Thai language version she ended with a note of appreciation actually to the press to the press who have been very instrumental very crucial very important in communicating to the public and uh, preventing misinformation and being sort of like um, another spokesperson actually for, for for the CCSA in terms of building awareness. And understanding regarding the COVID situation in Thailand, and of course, we're, we recognize the many uh, questions and inquiries that the press uh, have. Uh, sometimes we have to we have to refer them to specialists in particular agencies or ministries. So that's why we have. Uh, these daily programs in the afternoon in in Thai, as well as referring to the various line agencies in answering certain questions, which may be uh, more technical or medical in in nature. Dr. Pisamai also talked about the uh, good factory practices and the factory self assess assessment uh, scheme that I'll be touching. In a short while. Now, first, starting off with the cases we have for today, the numbers we have recorded for today, we have 2,843 new recoveries. We have, in terms of new confirmed cases, 3,440, as you see on screen. Out of this number, 1,175 cases are from local transmission. 1,163 cases are from active case finding. And 1,087 cases from within the penitentiaries, 15 coming from abroad and in the state quarantine system. So 3440 is the number of new confirmed cases we have for today. We have just slightly lower than 50,000 active cases. Cases still being treated in our uh, medical uh, system. Which is 49,777 active cases. Of this number, how many? How much of this number are serious uh, cases? There are 1,247 cases in in this number of patients with lung inflammation, and in this number, 381 381 cases are patients uh, using ventilators. We have 38. New fatalities to report today, unfortunately, with sorrow, making the cumulative number of fatalities in Thailand now standing at 1,107. The fatality rate in Thailand remains low, at 0.67 percent. In terms of fatalities, the breakdown is 24 male and 14 female. Age range is 10 months old, up to 88 years old, and median age is 63. Most of the fatalities, uh, as in the past weeks, are from Bangkok, with 18 cases. In terms of the provincial distribution of the highest number of confirmed cases, uh, we have Bangkok topping that once again at 680, Samut Prakans 466. Petburi province, 449, and the other provinces you can see on screen. That's a 10, top 10 provinces with the highest number of COVID cases recorded for the 2nd second of June. In Bangkok in particular, we have reported one new cluster in Lat Prao district. In Lat Prao district, um, there are actually many ways to uh, group the clusters and in terms of uh, location we have the general, the bigger kind of grouping uh, which the number might be around six or seven in terms of uh, cluster groupings. But in detail, each actual individual active clusters now in Thailand, sorry, now in Bangkok, we have 48 clusters. Just um, some more observations uh, from the briefing just now also that uh, factories and fresh markets remain the areas with the highest infection rates and the disease control department had reported three reported three new clusters in factories in the provinces of Samut Prakan, Samut Sakhon and Ayutthaya. So local authorities also found more uh, of these new cases in communities surrounding 
factories and among the members of their families. Now, just for example, workers from a factory in Petburi province had returned to their domicile, the, back to their hometowns, and actually spread the virus in around 11 more provinces. However, for today, we have 21 provinces that have reported no new case in the past 24 hours, 21 provinces. This is a decrease from around 30 provinces earlier this week that had reported no new case. So therefore, the Prime Minister, as the chair of the CCSA, had ordered the provincial health offices and security officials to implement uh, more stringent preventive methods such as the bubble and seal me measures in the various provinces around the country and especially in factories to prevent the spread of the virus. The Public Health Ministry and Ministry of Industry also have developed risk control self-assessment for factories to identify their risks of infections. Now, the CCSA aims that all factories should complete this self-assessment by the 15th of June and improve their facilities according, accordingly by the end of the month. Now the standard is GFP, Good Factory Practices, and uh, in filling this self-assessment form, various factories will be able to evaluate whether they're doing uh, good enough to meet the uh, good factory practices standards that we have uh, set. The, if they do not pass this standard, uh, actually the authorities will be able to mentor and be able to uh, give advice on how to improve uh, the setup and the various measures in, in the factory. <coughs> the CSA has asked for the cooperation of many factories and hoping that there will be uh, cooperation from all the factories involved. Uh, those factories who have complied with the good factory practices and have been model factories are, are there. There are a couple of those. They'll probably be designated as model factories. And as Dr. Pisamai had mentioned, we can mention one name, which is actually a factory of a Toyota a company, Toyota company, the, the car company. Um, that had coordinated very closely with the uh, Department of Disease Control in the past uh, months. This is one prime example, one good example of cooperation from the private sector uh, in the uh, industry, industrial sector. Now, another piece of information that had, you have, had probably seen in the news is relevant to Thailand is that recently approved the Sinovac uh, for emergency use. So yesterday, the WHO announced that it had validated Sinovac uh, vaccine for emergency use. This is the sixth, the sixth vaccine that had been approved by the WHO for EUL, which is emergency use listing, uh, giving countries and uh, procuring agencies the assurance that the vaccine has met international standards. Now, this is relevant to Thailand because Sinovac is one of the main vaccines that we have been using in the emergency uh, stage of vaccination. Uh, Sinovac is also now included in the COVAX, the COVAX vaccine facility, as it has passed the quality and efficacy assessment by this uh, independent board of experts. And in the report, the World Health Organization also indicates that uh, Sinovac vaccine can prevent severe symptoms and hospitalization in 100% of the studied population. It also recommends that there should be no upper age limit on the vaccine, as there is no reason to believe it has different safety profiles in older generations. Another update is on the vaccine distribution. Yesterday, the Department of Disease Control had distributed 240,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine to vaccination centers nationwide. So 700,000 doses of Sinovac vaccine will also be distributed today to accommodate the national vaccination program that is due to officially start uh, mass vaccination starting next week. So you have an infographic there of the breakdown of the numbers of vaccine distribution in Thailand, particularly for today and yesterday. 
Yes, so just an additional point uh, that the current outbreak, of course, can continues to be stressful for many people. It can cause serious uh, effects on the public's uh, mental health. So there had been a survey, actually, and the Department of Mental Health has revealed the results of this uh, survey conducted recently in Thailand. Now, it indicates that the groups that have the highest level of stress are the public transport drivers, followed by unemployed uh, people, and then followed by medical workers, as you see on the infographic there on screen. So that's a study that was made, and of course the authorities are uh, duly uh, looking into this and uh, taking care of the mental health of all sectors of society. And while this, this survey also shows that people can cope with the situation better than they did last year, so that was one good result of this survey, we can cope better with stress uh, coming from COVID this year as compared to last year. So the mental health department encourages anyone still who have uh, feelings of uh, dep depression uh, to contact the men mental health uh, hotline. That's 1323, uh, 24 hours around the clock, and you have that on screen for, for you. So with that, I thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again uh, in the coming days. Sorry, Kap.